they say about killers. Dark as ink and twice as slippery. I've been chasing one for weeks. The Chicago Bloodhound, they call it. A slew of gruesome murders and mad chases down alleyways all lead me right back here. And tonight, I'm not leaving without a name. Sergeant, of course it was. He hadn't caught a single perp since he joined the force. But with a breast pocket lined with cash, why bother? I'm sorry, Sergeant. I won't be joining you running in circles. I'm chasing some real leads. I will not have an insubordinate cop on my hands, Dresden. I am sick and tired of this dance. If you do not get down to the crime scene in five minutes, I expect your badge on my desk by tomorrow. Do you hear me? Loud and clear. Put the gun down, Phillips. I told you to be here half an hour ago. I had a dream that I was weightless. Every step I took pushed me high into the air. And it took forever to fall back to the ground. The harder I tried to run, the higher I went, and the slower I moved. And as I hung in the air, I began to panic. Maybe it was the prospect of never getting down, of pushing too hard, leaving the atmosphere, and, and never seeing the ground again. Maybe it was just shame. Shame of my inability to walk properly in public for the whole world to see. I don't think I'll ever truly know why I panicked. All I'll know is that, that I was terrified. Bob received a love letter one day from a girl he'd been doting on for a long while. So he taped it to the ceiling and stared at it every night. That is, 
until one day, he saw her with somebody else. Heartbroken, he ran out into the night. Could my life get any worse, he wondered. You had made a very, very terrible mistake. As it turns out, giving a monkey the keys to a functioning train was not a good idea, even if it looked cute or harmless. With 500 pounds of pure steel at his disposal, the monkey instantly went on a rampage, destroying everything in its path. This resulted in the obliteration of multiple cities, a death toll in the thousands, and the arrest of one Jane Goodall. Unable to cope with what he had done, Steve walked down to the train tracks and prepared himself to atone. Okay, so here's the rough cut. What's that? My name. What's wrong? Well, for one, it's not meant to be there. Oh, it's not? My bad. Okay, let's go. Many people don't like what I do. But it has to be done. In the dead of night, I strike hard and fast. Like a soda can attached to a roller coaster. Like a soda can attached to a roller coaster. What? It's a cool line. I can assure you that it's not. Fine. Third time's the charm. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened? Oh, yeah. It just exported like that. Anyway. No, man. You can't turn that in at all. Just. Just roll back to the last version and try again from there. I can't. What do you mean you can't? I was delete the original files after I export the film. What? Why? Because I believe in myself. Well, obviously you shouldn't. Okay. Has the footage been replaced? Yep. Salvage the audio? Yep. Okay, let's go. Many people don't like what I do. But it has to be done. In the dead of night, I strike hard and fast. Like a soda can attached to a roller coaster. I can't do this anymore. You're absolutely terrible at this. A good film requires heart, talent, and passion. You have none of these things. Please, just give me one last chance. I promise I'll fix everything. Fine. One more chance. That's it. Okay, this is it. Heart, talent, and passion. It better be. Heart, talent, and passion. I thought I had those once, but I was wrong. As I matured, I found out that not many people liked what I did, and much like my rapid adolescence, this realization struck me hard and fast. Like a soda can attached to a roller coaster. <laughs>